So what is up guys, Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to what is on my Android phone for the month of March 2017. I have the Galaxy S7 but I went back to the Galaxy Note 5. Reason being is Exynos chipset, I feel like my Galaxy Note 5 runs better than my Snapdragon Galaxy S7. And in this video, I'm gonna show you all the applications I have on my Android device with the intentions on helping you to see maybe applications you haven't seen before. Um, also, this video is designed for you to go ahead and share your applications down below in the comment section so we can all, you know, improve our Android experience and uh, it just enhances our life. If you share an application that I don't know, or I share an application that you have not seen before, this can be a lot of productive use for your life. So yeah, with that being said, let's get into this video right now. Let's go. So welcome to what is on my Android phone for the month of March 2017. So you can see I still use the Samsung Galaxy Fingerprint Magnet Note 5 and it's just a beautiful device and I've been using it for quite a while now if you've been following the channel and I've really seen no reason to really upgrade to a much better Samsung device. Now I went to the S7 for video purposes but after using the S7 for about a month it has not taken the place of my Galaxy Note 5. My Note 5 is still my favorite Android phone that I have ever purchased in my entire life. Now, you guys might be asking, well, it doesn't have a micro SD card slot expansion. It doesn't have waterproof. Two things I don't really care about. Number one, it's very easy to just file dump get your files off the phone and just put them on your computer and just have a total 32 gigs again on your phone. It's very easy to do that. And number two is that I think our human minds have been trained to not even care about putting our electronics near water. So not having waterproof is not a big deal to me. I have the water resistant iPhone 7 Plus and I still keep that phone away from water. So that's not a big deal for me at all. So in terms of what I have on my phone here, you can see that I am running a specific theme. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the theme I'm running here on my Galaxy Note 5. If I go into themes here, you can see that I am running this theme right here. It's called the Block UI. So B-L-A-C UI. I, if you guys want to go ahead and download it and I also got like 17 other themes you can see right here Those are so I can switch them out I love the customization of Samsung with its themes because you don't really have to do all the work Samsung pretty much does it all for you there and in the you know in the theming engine here so let me go ahead and show you what I got. So I do have Trello. So Trello is an application for Android that allows you to basically have boards. It's a productivity based application that gives you easy listing things for like listing your days and listing out what you got to get done. So that's great right there. Now the second application I have on my list is going to be Wall Rock. So Wall Rocks is just essentially what you probably thought. It's a wallpaper app. So I use Wall Rocks for my wallpapers, get my landscapes on, get all kinds of cool stuff. And I like to change out my wallpapers a lot because I like to see them punchy colors and you know on the AMOLED display. I love to see different wallpapers on those babies. So over here I have an application folder called shopping where I keep Amazon and eBay. No biggie there. I keep the clock here. And um, yeah, you can see that the theming engine does theme out the entire phone here. No, I don't run Nougat here on the Note 5. It's still on 6.0. Still waiting for the Nougat update, but I don't really care. Nougat didn't really, you know, change so much that it's going to change your life experience in terms of Android. It's pretty much the same still. But over here, I do have Play Newsstand and Mr. Phone. I love Mr. Phone. This application shows you all of the trending phones, Google Pixel, Xiaomi Mi Note, Google Pixel XL. You can see it just shows you a bunch of the pre the trending phones as well as trending news so you got a whole bunch of stuff going on in here so nice stuff there and we do have Wikipedia. So Wikipedia is for research. I do love to do research when I get some time. Research, you know, is essential for pretty much everything, I think. So let's go into Instagram. I do have Instagram here on my channel and uh, or on my phone here. You can go ahead and follow me at underscore Nick underscore Ackerman. 
Guys, I post things related to the channel here, and it's easier for me to get back at you guys on Instagram. So if you go on Instagram, you could see like behind the scenes shots before I post, and uh, it's just really cool to chat with you guys over there as well. I love this YouTube community, but this is just kind of more like to get direct with you guys over there. So right here is Strava. So Strava is one of my favorite applications for running and walking. Very good stuff here. All you have to do is hit the plus sign. It's also cross platform and you could just record your activity really quickly here just tap record and you're good to go so Strava is a great application and there's a theme that I like to keep going with my Android phones because I use Android and iOS I like to keep my Android phones very you know cross-platform when their applications because I need to have you know multiple applications for that so Allo's cross-platform, Strava's cross-platform, cross Google Keep. So you can see I have Calendar Calculator, as well as Appy Geek right there. You've seen Appy Geek a thousand times on my channel. I love that application. Over here is YouTube, Internet, Google Allo, Gallery, and my ADT Pulse. Now, I do like how this theme kind of puts the applications in this color coat. This theme to me is wicked sick. Um, in my opinion, but you could see phone messages, Spotify, my favorite music application is Spotify. Going down here to my applications, you can see that inside the drawer, I do have a few more things I didn't mention. I do have the Alexa app for my Amazon Echo, as well as the Calm application for getting some Calm action going. And essentially what that is, is it's music to relax the mind, helps you to take a deep breath and things like that. It's a really sweet application that if you just want to get some relaxation on in your life, you're going to enjoy the Calm application. Also, I keep Audible for audiobooks, which is pretty nice stuff there, Best Buy. Now, Android Central is a great, you know, news aggregator of Android news. And a lot of people, you know, think that I only like iOS, but that's just not true. Actually, this is my favorite device and my main daily device here, the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. And yes, that's even over an iPhone 7 Plus. I think this phone is actually better than the iPhone 7 Plus in a ton of ways. But you might disagree, but that's totally on you. Like, we all have our own experiences, and I just share them with you here. My experience, yours might differ, and that's totally okay. I totally understand that. Now, over here is Camera Connect, and you can see Camera Connect is from my Canon SX530. Don't really use that too much anymore, but it's there. Cars.com, because I'm looking for a new car right now. Cough, 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 cough. Not gonna tell you, but over here you can see I got the counter application right here is, you know, just basically counting for when I do votes and polling on the channel. So when I like say, do you guys wanna see this phone or do you guys wanna see that phone? I go ahead and I just count up and tally up the votes. You can see right there. And I do have CPU-Z, which basically allows me to see the specifications of the Note and other devices you can see Eight core CPU, Exynos 7420, 2.1 gigahertz. What a beast right here. And it does have four gigs of RAM. So great device here in terms of these specifications. Going back into the app drawer, you can see that I do have the Gboard keyboard as well as the Panasonic image app down there in shot for cropping out videos and stuff like that. Going over here, I do keep MB Financial, my account. These are just applications that are bank related financial related you might have different apps for that photoshop express right here pitch black wallpaper as well as a qr code reader always got to have one of those handies and pba bowling i like to bowl sometimes so i have bowling on my phone instagram layout up there up top you can see up there going over samsung pay and uh you know right here i do have studio subway surfers Tent Crunch right here, Temple Run, Temple Run 2, Udemy, Udemy for taking classes right there. You can see over here I do have the Walmart application as well as Zillow, Zedge, Whiteboard for jotting down quick notes here on Whiteboard right here. And that's a cool thing if you just want to show out notes. But yeah, that's pretty much what I have on my Android phone. You could say my Samsung Galaxy Note 5 for the month of March 2017. Still waiting on the Note 8. I will be upgrading to the Note 8. This is my favorite phone series all time. And uh, I love all phones, but if I only had to choose one, it would be the Note series. And that's because of the pen. Um, a lot of people say this is gimmicky, the pen on the Note 5, but I don't think that's gimmicky at all. I've used it a crap ton. I take a bunch of notes with it. And as a creative, you know, professional over here, you got to be able to, you know, 
get productive as possible and having a pen to be able to crop out things to cut things out this is a mobile powerhouse here in the samsung galaxy note 5 but enough of my ranting and positive talk about the galaxy note 5 what applications do you have on your android device please go ahead and share those down below so we can all help each other out in mastering our technology having a better experience in the world of android as, in, as well as in the world of smartphone some of your applications might be cross-platform so if you are ios user watching this video a lot of these applications you can find on your apple device as well we're all we're all one here there's no separation here between you know and they're just phones guys we're all just trying to have the best life possible and uh yeah that's gonna wrap this video up for me what is on my android phone for the month of march if you guys enjoyed it do me a favor click the like button for me subscribe to the channel for more technology videos like this this was nick here helping to master your technology be sure to be well i will catch you guys all in the next one and peace